So welcome to TechnoDare Life, and my name is Jeff. Today we're going to take a brief look at Wi-Fi 6 and why you need it or why you might not need it, coming up after the intro. If you find this video helpful, make sure you like and subscribe so you're notified of new videos. Wi-Fi 6 is all about speed and efficiency, but you won't notice much of a difference unless you have a new Wi-Fi compatible device. It is backwards compatible with all previous versions of Wi-Fi, and starting with Wi-Fi 6, all Wi-Fi's get new names. So uh, the 802.11n became Wi-Fi 4, 11ac became Wi-Fi 5, and the new 802.11ax became Wi-Fi 6. I think the new naming helps with understanding which Wi-Fi is best. Basically, the higher the better. Wi-Fi 6 devices have a theoretical data rate of 11 gigabits per second, but the big difference is in dense environments where speeds can be four times faster than Wi-Fi 5 through a combination of 30% higher data rates and the bigger factor is latency reduced by 75%. So Wi-Fi 6 devices use three main technologies to make improvements. An updated version of MooMimo, OFDMA, and 1024QAM. Lots of acronyms that we will explain uh, as we go along. So MooMimo, or multi-user, multi-user output, uh, has been used in routers for years. But with Wi-Fi 6, it receives a major upgrade. Basically, MooMimo lets you communicate with more than one device at a time. With Wi-Fi 5, you are limited to communication between four devices at a time, but with Wi-Fi 6, that doubles to eight devices. OFDMA, or Orthogonal Frequency Division Multiple Access, along with Order 1024QAM, or Quadrature Amplitude Multiple, multi, mu, along with Higher Order 1024 QAM, or Quadrature Amplitude Modulation, allows one transmission to deliver data to multiple devices at once. So what that means in practicality is that with Wi-Fi 6, it can divide up the limited number of device numbers that we previously mentioned into smaller bits so that everyone gets the right amount of data and the rest can be used by other devices. So to use analogy, if you imagine a pie with, with Wi-Fi 5, each person or device gets the whole pie, no matter if they want a small piece or a large piece. They still get the whole pie. In Wi-Fi 6, the people or devices only get a piece of pie as large as they want or need then the rest of the pie is used for other people or devices. This makes Wi-Fi 6 much more efficient when there are a large number of devices such as airports, concerts, or even your local coffee shop. Wi-Fi 6 also has a new feature called Target Wake Up Time, which lets the router schedule awake times with devices, and what that means is your Internet of Things devices do not need to keep checking in with the router uh, this reduces the amount of time that devices need to keep their antennas powered on. This feature is designed for low or battery powered devices that just update themselves periodically and, and can greatly increase battery life. Devices I can think of that will benefit from this are like door window monitors, thermometers, and switches. Wi-Fi 6 also has better security WPA3 security protocol is required for all Wi-Fi 6 routers. Current routers can support WPA3, but with Wi-Fi 6, W3A is required. All new devices that connect to Wi-Fi 6 will be using WA3 unless you change it. Wi-Fi 6 uses bands between 1 and 6 gigahertz, so you are less likely to have any cross interference from your neighbors, especially now since your neighbors probably don't have a Wi-Fi 6 router. Now to take full advantage of this Wi-Fi goodness, first you need to get a Wi-Fi 6 enabled router. 
You should look at the label to make sure that it says Wi-Fi 6 in big letters. On this Aruba router, it just says Wi-Fi 6 in small letters. Next, you need to get an iPhone uh, from the 11 on or a Samsung phone from the S10 on, all of which have Wi-Fi 6 cap capability. Uh, other phone manufacturers, you need to check just to make sure they have it. Apple also supports Wi-Fi 6 in all its new M1 Max and the HomePod Mini. Uh, for any other device manufacturer, just make sure you check their support page. So is Wi-Fi 6 for everyone? Well, actually, no. If you don't have a lot of devices or you don't have any Wi-Fi 6 devices, it's a waste of your money to buy a new router. Especially since the new routers are new Wi-Fi 6 routers are at a premium right now. But if you have a house full of Internet of Things devices, it might be worth your while to have a look into a new router. And a special thank you to all my supporters who, without your support, this channel would not be possible. And if you haven't already, please think about supporting the channel you love. Thank you. Well, that's it for today. Thanks, and you have a great day. Bye-bye.